There are a lot of cool tidbits about the new Zwift ride that I will get into later in this video. But first, let's talk about what Zwift ride actually is. This is Zwift's latest hardware innovation designed to be paired with a smart trainer and essentially turning your setup into a smart bike. The bike is compact, easily adjustable, quieter than ever, and honestly, I think it looks pretty cool. So let's dig into the all new Zwift ride. Okay, first thing first, the price. Currently, the Zwift ride is priced at 1,300 US dollars and it is available in the US, uh, Europe and United Kingdom and in Canada and Australia through wahoofitness.com only. The price includes the Zwift ride frame along with the Wahoo Kicker Core Smart Bike Trainer. And if you look at the Wahoo Kicker Core by itself, it is priced at $650. So $1,300 for the Zwift ride frame and a bike trainer is not too bad, especially considering how much a dedicated smart bike can cost. Plus, the Zwift ride offers more Zwift integration and flexibility if you want to upgrade your trainer down the line. Zwift also updated the cog to make it quieter. Add that virtual shifting or virtual gearing and you have absolutely a silent setup. This is by far the quietest setup of experience aside from the Peloton bike and Stages bike. So when you get the bike, you will receive three different boxes, one for the frame, one for the handlebar, and one for the bike trainer. I only have two boxes here because I already have the bike trainer and Zwift put a lot of thoughts into the assembly process just like they did with the good old Zwift One Hub or Zwift Hub One Trainer. They wanted to make the assembly as simple as possible and there is a barcode that you can scan on the box that takes you to a video and walks you through the setup process. But the really cool part about the setup and adjustability of this bike is this included island key wrench, which honestly, I know it's a little thing, but this thing is all you need. It is tucked away within the frame itself. And every time you need to make any adjustments, it's right there. And it's always right there when you need it. Zwift also color coded the bolts for easy identification. The white color ones are for tightening when assembling the frame. So no need to touch those once you assemble the frame. And the orange ones are for making fit adjustments. Once you take the bike out of the box, all you need to do is follow simple instructions in the manual to attach a frame to the bike trainer, assemble the front handlebar, and that's all there is to it. The Zwift ride fits riders between 5 feet and 6.6 .6 feet. There is a fitting table included that gives you a rough estimate of your saddle height, bars, and reach. I just took the measurement from my road bike and made those adjustments myself. The saddle is pretty good, it is adjustable and you can replace it if you want, but I think it is decent and I found it to be comfortable. All right, let's talk about the handlebar. That's where all the cool stuff is. The handlebar is designed with integrated Zwift controllers. They have buttons to navigate the Zwift menu, give ride-ons and activate power-ups. There are additional buttons on the bottom that you can customize in the menu for shortcuts like ride-ons or power-ups and Zwift is planning to add more features or more customizations to those buttons in the future. The shifters on the side are for virtual gearing and virtual shifting now supports Shimano or SRAM style 2x12 gearing. Zwift also added different virtual gear options that you can select in the settings menu. The controllers need to be charged and you will find two USB-C ports tucked right below the handlebar and a USB-C cable is included as well for charging. There's also a rubber pad that you can use to put your phone, food or towel or whatever you want. And the rubber mat is removable if you wanna clean it. Also, there's an optional tablet holder that you can get for $49.99 uh, at Zwift.com if you wanna use uh, your tablet like an iPad or an Android tablet. So I had a chance to test out the Zwift ride a while ago at Zwift headquarters before getting the sample unit here. And I've had this sample unit here for a little over a week. So I was able to get in a few rides and uh, riding it is just like riding my road bike, but way smoother and extremely quieter. The design of the front fork 
might make you think it is not stable, but surprisingly, it works extremely well. It is simple, but just works somehow. I was able to sprint and put all my weight on it and it did not move. It feels really stable. Overall, I'm really impressed with this little frame. What seemed like a simple idea is actually well executed by Zwift. Their intention here is to make riding on their platform more accessible and easier for the majority of riders. And with the Zwift ride, you get a simple, well-designed bike frame that offers seamless integration with the Zwift platform. They even thought about the little details. So for example, this cageless water bottle design fitted to the frame is specifically for indoor use. The cageless design make it easier to get the water bottle in and out uh, because there is no need for a full cage to prevent the bottles from flying out when hitting bumps or potholes on the road. Hopefully you do not have any bumps in your pain cave. Also, there is a place to hang your chain when taking the frame off the trainer. So you can place a frame on the floor without the chain touching the floor or carpet. So those little details make you appreciate the thought process that went into the design. Zwift also included magnetic cable management clips, which are handy if you wanna run cables to charge your tablet or phone. And this little badge here is removable, so in the future, Zwift might make additional badges available and you can change it to something else as you unlock different badges in Zwift. Pretty cool, right? And let's not forget the price. With this setup, you basically have a dedicated indoor bike for about one third of the price of an actual dedicated smart bike. So I know a lot of you probably wondering, can you buy the frame by itself and attach it to your current Kicker Core or Zwift Hub? Not yet. Currently the frame alone is not available, but Zwift plans to introduce a frame only version later in the fall. So current Wahoo Kicker Core and Kicker V6 owners should be able to add the frame to their setup later on. And the reason for this later launch is Zwift wanted to increase compatibility. The frame only version will ship with a few extra bits of hardware, including an adjustable foot kit to ensure the frame sits level no matter which trainer is mount it's mounted to. Zwift is also in talks with other trainer manufacturers to adopt uh, the virtual shifting to increase compatibility beyond the Kicker Core, Kicker V6, and the good old hub. So what do you guys think? Would you be interested in getting the Zwift ride? Let's chat in the comment. There you have it, folks. Thanks for watching. And uh, remember to hit that like button. And if you are still watching but have not subscribed yet, you know what to do. Thanks again, and I'll catch you in the next video.